Here's the update to iOS 17.4 when it comes out. That is what we're going to answer in today's video. iOS 17.4 has a whole ton of new features, new emojis, new security settings for iMessage, but the biggest update to iOS 17.4 is the ability for users in the EU to download apps from alternative app stores. Ever since the release of the iPhone, you can only download apps from Apple's App Store. There are other ways to do it using App Center, but those are more restrictive towards uh, development. But for the average user, they were only able to use the standard App Store app in order to download apps. As a result of iOS 17.4, these users in the EU will have the ability to download apps from other sources. And you can bet that Apple is not taking this lightly. Throughout iOS 17.4, you will see references stating that the App Store is the most secure way to download apps and other language like it. It's even gotten to a point where Apple is telling its support reps not to mention the ability to download alternative apps from alternative stores. Apple is doing several checks to ensure that only users in the EU will be able to download apps from alternative app stores. Some of these checks include the billing address. You can see that Apple is not going to give up that app store revenue without a fight. The reason why Apple is allowing this is because of the DMCA Act, which manufacturers of software need to be able to provide their users the ability to download applications from other sources. Now, whether or not these applications are going to be safer than the App Store apps, that remains to be seen. If you are not willing to download apps from alternative app stores, you're not missing out. Chances are this feature is going to spread to more regions as other countries are looking to implement similar rules to the DMCA. iMessage is also getting an upgrade, at least a security upgrade, to protect against quantum computing attacks. There is a trend of harvest now, decrypt later, and that is where an individual will grab data and then once quantum computers become widely available, then they will use those quantum computers in order to decrypt the information. iMessage is going to allow users to protect against these type of attacks, similar to the Signal messaging app. The podcast app also gets enhancements with 17.4. This includes the ability to see the transcript of the podcast episode. And while you're listening to the podcast, the app would actually highlight the words that the speaker is saying. This is going to be really useful in the event that maybe for some reason you cannot hear the speaker very well. You have that ability to follow along using the transcripts. Apple has also enhanced stolen device protection. Now with 17.4, you have the ability for you to turn that feature on no matter where you are. In 17.3, it only deactivated when you were at your most frequently visited places. But with 17.4, you can have this feature turned on and no matter if your phone gets stolen, then you will have the ability to prevent the thief from changing your Apple ID password and stealing all of your information. Battery health also gets an improvement with 17.4. Unfortunately, this is only restricted to the iPhone 15 models. With this new feature, you'll be able to see the condition of your battery. It's really unfortunate that this feature did not get carried over to older iPhones because let's face it, not everyone is running out to grab the latest iPhone. And this is probably just a way for Apple to sell more iPhone 15s. But really, they should allow the older iPhones to have this feature, which makes a lot of sense, especially for users of older devices who may not know the battery health of their iPhone. There's also bug fixes, but that is pretty much standard across all of these updates. When I use 17.4 on my iPad, my iPhone 15 and 13, I was able to successfully launch all of my apps. My workflows were not disturbed 
and I believe that this feature is worth upgrading to unless you want to wait for perhaps 17.4.1, but there is going to be no harm in you updating to 17.4 once it's released. If you found this video helpful, please like, subscribe, and leave a comment. And until next time, I will see you in the next video. Take care.